Shalom Israel. I'm gonna give all praises on and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom for the to the elect doing this work in truth and in sincerity. And uh I just I stumbled across this while I was <clears throat> reading second Ezra the seventh chapter, and this is um start at verse thirty three. Talking about the end times, right? And the Most High shall appear upon the seat of judgment, and misery shall pass away, and the long suffering shall have an end. And that's what we're patiently waiting for, man. We are patiently waiting for the Most High to appear with His judgment, man. All right, bring righteous to the just. I mean, bringing um, you know, salvation to the just, and death to the wicked, man. All right. The Most High, like this place is compared to as Egypt, so the rulers that be will be compared to as Pharaoh. Now we know in Romans the ninth chapter, the Most High hardened, you know what I'm saying? The Most High, what? He hardened Pharaoh's heart to lift up his name. All right? So it's always a balance where, you know what I'm saying, good is set against evil. But as we keep reading, the Most High shall appear upon the seat of judgment and misery shall pass away. And the long suffering shall have an end. So basically, the wickedness basically shall have an end. All right. The just, you know what I'm saying? The just is going to go from the bottom to being on the top. Whereas, when I say the just, I mean the elect of Israel. All right. Israel's so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But the elect are the 144,000 spoken of in Revelation 7 chapter. 12,000 from each tribe, all right? But judgment only shall remain. Truth shall stand and faith shall wax strong. All right? So in the end, like I said, the Most High just hardened Pharaoh's heart. The Most High just hardened Pharaoh's heart so that what? He can get his praise. All right? So that we can praise his name a lot more, man. So we can fear and reverence him. All right? Let me get it real quick, you know. I'm already here. You might as well get it, right? Um, Romans 9 and 17. So that for the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might shew my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore have he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he hardeneth. Alright, so there you go, man. Again, the good set against the evil. Okay, so we go back to Second Edges 7. 34. But judgment only shall remain, truth shall stand, and faith shall wax strong. All right. So us, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? As men of the Lord, as, you know what I'm saying? Men learning to be wise. We know the smart thing to do is follow Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity, man. All right. And the work shall follow. And the reward shall be true, and the good deeds shall be a force, and wicked deeds shall bear no rule. All right? And what's the wicked deed? All right? Going against the Most High, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, and the men that he set up. That is the wicked deeds, man. All right? That is the wicked deeds, man. You know? So, oh, and, and one more point I had wanted to add is that. Just reading this, you show it shows you that the righteous is gonna be on the bottom. The righteous is gonna be the one suffering. The righteous is gonna be the one that the whole world hates, man. Who is that? We know it's the men of great millstone. You know? So with that, you know what I'm saying? Just basically exhortation to the brotherhood. I have read this and just wanna say uh Shalom.